Okay, so I've spent a lot of time in working in Ableton recently, and compared to working on the tracks, it seems like I was frantically clicking constantly. Um, so I thought about the idea of trying to use the tracks to maybe help me simplify things, put sequences in it, automation in it, use all the channels, and indeed use the drum tracks. Um, so here's what I've come up with so far. special it's not going to win any awards um, setting it up wasn't as easy as I would imagine so uh, the way I think is, I've got things set up on the tracks is since one is on channel 15 since two is on channel two since three is on three and since four is on channel one maybe channel one the drum rack right so the problem with the drum rack is is if you click this one it's triggering a different note if you see on here it's triggering a different note so I come up with the idea of this now you can play with them you get an idea for the groove and if you don't like this one you can swap it out But they are indeed sequenced in here. And I haven't used four, but we could. And you can see there that there's one, two, three, and if you play it. Again, another reason why I've done this is because these hits have chance say 30 or 20 percent chance of hitting so you can take advantage of this the other thing that i've used it for is scales that's why i started off as this track until i realized that you could use scales so that's really handy and key that's really good um or scales and key so i got them confused um Right, one of the main things I was interested in was parameter locks. So I've set this wave table, synth on Ableton. The first one I've set to scan the wave table position. Let's try and find a nicer one. Second one I've set to walk, which is there. Third one is set to spread amount, which is on five voices at the moment. And fourth, set to fold. So the point of this was velocity, record, thin. Walked and folded it to where I wanted it. Cut off down on this one. Make sure cut us up on that one. Cut off down. Whip. Bit of folding. Cut off up. Just do the rest random. You can see the lights flashing, and you can see Ableton gimping out. And it's quite a lot of information for Ableton to receive. 
seem to be doing it, but I've had it crash on me a couple of times. Totally doable. The other thing I've done is this. respond um, as MIDI uh, CCs on Ableton as well which means on the master I couldn't quite get this to do uh, high pass and low pass I haven't quite worked that one out in my head yet for one knob um, so I put this one on low pass I put this one on high pass and I put this one on Valhalla shimmer and then just wash it out you know it's just on a really long decay um, you could fill all eight of these up I was thinking about having a beat loop on this one, a stutter on this one, uh, maybe a delay, like a short one to thicken up the sound, kind of give it a flanged feel. And then again, you could have flange chorus and maybe distortion. Um, that is a good way to use it, I think. Um, everything else on here, how I've got it set is, if I want it to sidechain, which it all is, I've got everything that I want to sidechain being sent to a compressor um, and then it's on send only or that one should be so that means it's not coming through the main channel it's only coming through the compressor which is B that's why they've got send to B and the B is set to duck on the drum rack and the kick and you can see it. So another thing you could do right there is you could set this threshold amount 
if I can actually see it there. And you could MIDI map that. So we'll MIDI map it to here. And now let's map to there. So no side change. to make that with the tracks as well which is quite nice um, so that's it I just thought it'd be nice to have all the sequences on here see if the automation could work see if I could get the drum tracks to work uh, so far it doesn't seem to be too much of a problem um, I'll probably make a template that will probably help me quite a lot fill this up with effects um, and make sure that this is cued to just work um, if I have a template on here Essentially, it's just loading up five MIDI channels, making sure they correspond to um, setting up your buses or auxiliaries and making sure you've got the side chain set and all the effects. Beyond that, the only other thing is when you go into drums, if you want to audition them together, put them in the drum rack like I've done. But the only way that you're going to be able to flick through them like that is if you double tap note and you see those four. If you're in here, no matter what note you hit, you're always going to hit the kick. This note corresponds with D. Drum three corresponds with E. And drum four corresponds with F. So it is C, D, E, F. Um, that's it really, like I said, this isn't something that's uh, too difficult to do, it's just setting up a template. But I do think it helps quite a bit in Ableton, like putting the patterns in, not having to worry about boxes, you're doing all the boxes that you normally do on here, you're just taking advantage of, well I'm taking advantage here of the Wavetable synthesizer on Ableton, the ability to sidechain to a linear knob, so you know I can really feel it. It's not just a setting, that one, that one, that one. Um, and take advantage of some of the other, you know, plugins that I use, like Valhalla, Shimmer and Reverb. And um, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for your time. Hopefully this helps some people out. Like and sub.